Okay, I'm here with my friend Ray Oltian, and we're going to do a second part to this digital audio workstation using Linux. And in this case, we're using uh, Ubuntu Linux. Um, and we're going to be working with audio tools so that you could set up your own home audio workstation. Um, I'm going to open up a terminal here. And the first thing we're going to need to do is install a few in, um, programs. So this time, we're going to install jack rack I believe that's how we do it and we're also going to install zen add sub effects and we're going to install a program that we might not get to in this video but it's a drum machine hydrogen so put in the command here and we'll see if this works alright yes we want to install and so now we'll wait for the install to work and I might skip forward alright we got the programs installed so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to applications sound and video we're gonna start up jack controller and start we got that started we're going to open up muse okay our MIDI sequencer and we've got MIDI sequencer open now and now that we have that open I've got Ray here guiding me through the process he's troubleshot this many times so I'm really grateful that he's here to help me we're gonna import a MIDI file and I have it in let's see my downloads folder there's a MIDI file that I've downloaded previously we're gonna add it to the project and so then these are all the tracks in the MIDI file and this is the MIDI sequence right here on the right okay now we're gonna have to um, add some settings to this but before we do that we're going to start up our new application the synthesizer Zen add sub effects software synthesizer so we'll start that up I'll put that over here okay okay we've got the advanced interface I think the advanced interface yeah when we first started up we had to pick whether we wanted a basic interface or an advanced interface and we chose the advanced interface so we need to set a setting here in Muse to make it work with Zen add sub effects am I right Ray so we're gonna go to settings MIDI ports soft synth and we're going to uh, work a setting right here in the gen general MIDI um, setting right here device name and we're gonna make Zen adds add Zen add sub effects as a device for the MIDI instruments to look to on port one okay alright do I have to use can I close this one now I'll close that and now you can see that Zen add sub effects has been added to these um, ports right so now these channels these tracks are being mapped to the software synthesizer how cool so now we need to pick some instruments from our software synthesizer Zen add sub effects the software synthesizer so that we can fill these in and then play our MIDI file okay so to do that here we need to get some instruments right so we're gonna open up our instrument bank and um, refresh bank list or new bank or we've got different instruments here we have got a pull down menu where we can choose instruments so right now we can go to an organ and we can pick an organ let's say right and now that we have this organ picked we can say okay on um, part one it's enabled organ 7 and the MIDI channel receiving it is going to be channel 1 and if we look at our Muse program we see that on channel 1 is actually a piano part so instead of a piano we're going to use an organ am I right? and we can actually hear that right now probably if we play it right so if we okay so there's the organ playing that part alright so now if we wanted to add a secondary instrument we've got these other channels here we've got uh, was that fuga 
one and two on channels three and four? What is that? That's just a, a musical term for the same melody being kind of staggered in different uh, voices. But, uh, okay, same melody, same melody being staggered in different voices. Okay. Oh, we could put any instrument we want to that, so we could get creative with this. All right, so f uh, fugue one, right? Channel three. So now we go to our, and we need our instrument bank, right? I'll open up another part first, enable it. This is going to go to channel three, right? But we need to get the instrument. So where is our bank? There it is. And we'll pick a, um, a choir and voice. <laughs> and can we use a choir and voice piece? Yeah, we could probably do ahs, but it's okay to we'll still get the pitches. Though. All right, we'll get the pitches, and we'll try it out. Okay, ah, choir one. And all right, that sounds good. And that automatically came in here. So that's set. So let's pick another spot. So we'll do part three and enabled. We'll do that to channel four. And then we'll pick another instrument. Strings. Uh, what strings are we talking about here? Synth violin one. All right, we have that mapped here. It's enabled. Third part, channel four, right? So now if we go back to Muse, we've got, we've got these um, parts enabled. So if we want to, we can move the playhead ahead in the piece and listen to those parts. Am I right, Ray? So we'll put it right here, and we'll play it. Okay, so it's working. All right.